Okay, we're just about there. Okay, here they all have, oh, St. John. St. John, John Bakery. Bakery. That's where the bakery is. Oh, cool. So, St. John Bakery is right there. And that's where we'll be eating tomorrow. Uh, that's well, the not that one, bone marrow. Right. Anthony Bourdain's favorite place. London Gatwick. We're leaving. Bye, America. But we're getting on the plane to London. See you later, Marrakesh. Peace. And here we go again. Made it fun. Not as pretty as coming into Madrid. We're in London. Our first stop was a pharmacy. Yeah, gross. our first meal will be an egg salad sandwich. We needed the pharmacy for the for the nasals. Yeah, now we're gonna have egg salad. We couldn't get them in Morocco, you know. as we see it. It's 11.30 and we're gonna smash this egg salad sandwich and head to a pub, old pub, apparently. Oh yeah, traditional Euro room. Nice and small. This tour's not gonna be as uh, elaborate as the other ones. Ooh, do we have a mini bar? Oh my gosh, there's a kitchen. Do we have an espresso? Oh, I'd like a espresso. espresso maker. No mini bar, but there's milk. Nice. Coffee, tea. That's a cool perk. Cute. And then, yeah. do we have any sort of view? How do we open this thing? No. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. Good morning, everyone. Hi. First day in London. 9.30, we have a breakfast reservation at Sushu. It's an awesome Indian restaurant. We have eight of them in the city. Um, it was fun. By the way, that's our hotel right back there. Right there. With the Nadler. Yep. Yeah, so Sushu was a recommendation by Mindy Kaling, among many of the lists. She did a post recently. It was one of her favorite Indian restaurants in London. So we're going to check it out. Breakfast sausage naan. Sausage and egg naan. Yeah. They got a really good looking Bloody Mary. Yep. So. Yeah. Just finished stop number one at Deshoom. What do we have there? All right, we had breakfast. We ordered the sausage and egg naan roll, which was definitely the winner. It was so good. We ordered the Big Bombay, which was like a little bit of all their dishes. So we wanted to first try everything. And then we had the fire toast, which came with three jams. Brian got a spicy Bloody Mary. And it was spicy. An orange and I had a really good coffee. The first one I've had on the trip, I think. Uh, oh. And now we're walking to Maltby Street Market. So I'm gonna have to speed up the time lapse a little bit because it's 2.4 miles and about an hour long walk. Yep. We're gonna see a lot of sights, so see ya. Okay, we're just about there. We're looking for directions to yep, the Malfi market. Alright, so I think this is the back end. Let's go on the other side. And there's the, uh, the shard. 
All right, let's see where we're going. We found it. We finally found it. Two and a half miles later. London's best gin this way. Hello. We're leaving Maltby Street Market. Uh, we stopped at four places? Uh, four, yep. I had a little bit to drink. Shocker. <laughs> Alright, where do we go? We started at... So we started at... <laughs> Where did we start at? We started at the little gin place. That's right. Here we go. Oh, after this walk, we're gonna need some of that. Get to the beer place. Spanish tapas place. So far to Zuno. 100% Iberica eating the acorn. Yeah, you can taste it in the meat, so get that. And then I had to get my Spanish anchovies, pepperonis. It's cut nice and thick. It's not super thin like videos are me hiding in a corner and eating the food that I just got. But it's really funny that like the lamb and we had to find a hidden corner in Marrakesh for me to eat this lamb and now I'm eating, like shame eating a donut. I mean you gotta get all the cream on there. It's lemon. But Is it in my beard? No. <laughs> Alright we just left the Southwark Brewing Company. It's probably called Southwark. Yeah, something like that. That's the accent I have. I'm fully South ready to adopt this accent. South Wick Brewing Company. Oh, God. What? All right, here's where I was What saying. accent was that? Actually? But anyways, we're going to talk about who we want to run into in London. Who are our favorite London celebs. I'm going to start with, obviously, Hugh Grant. You? Uh, Kira Knightley. Obviously. TRL. Okay, get off 2005. Get off Get two more options, by the way. I want to say Alexa Chung, but I really want to say Jason Statham, but I don't think it's super lame. So there's Tom Hardy, obviously. <laughs> I'd say Kate Moss. Love to run into her. Is that your third pick? Yep. Just said it. I'm gonna go say, go ahead and say Clive Owen. Children of Men. Although he probably punch you or no idea. Why? He seems like he would do that to me. He's like that kind of guy, not to you. But anyway, like, he's like cool. Like, he's like, eh. So I'm. I'm time for you. Please. I don't understand. Like, I'm not cool. No, he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you're cool. He doesn't care. He seems like an actual cool person. I'd be like, I got no time for you, sir. Well, I would just want to, like, shake his hand. Yeah. Hang and out. I feel like he'd be like, he'd be like this. Cool. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, we're back at this thing. Look at this hair. Look how long this thing is. I'm gonna need to bring some sort of razor. What hat do I wear today? We go with the field work again. All right, second day London, last day on our vacation. Very sad. Very sad. But to turn it up a notch, <laughs> we are going to breakfast at Bar Italia. Cheers. Oh, 
over. <laughs> where we're gonna get run over. Oh. Okay, so anyway, back at it. We're going to Bar Italia, which is Fergus Henderson's spot to get a coffee every morning and drink some Fernet. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna try to get a seat outside where him and Tony sat, and we're gonna try to get them to take a picture of us drinking our Fernet, just like Fergus, so we can do a little pick joiner of it. And then we're gonna go to his restaurant for lunch, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, so we got another day of eating and drinking and going to bed early. Oh. Red Bar Italia. I got a sandwich with a bunch of ketchup on it. And I got a chocolate croissant. And a really good looking espresso. Mm -hmm. Amazing with pointing at the Bar Italia sign. I think it's right here. Yeah, I'm sure, it's really close. So if I've nailed every one of these. Yep. You're probably really close to that one. Maybe it's right here. <laughs> Anyways, and we had our Fernet, just like Tony and Fergus. So now we're off to Nails Yard Dairy, one of the best cheese places in the world. Uh, to check out their cheese. Wait, don't get run over. Uh, so check out the cheese. Yeah, I don't like blue cheese, but that was completely different. Uh, Lincolnshire poacher, which is a English cheddar. Nice. All right, time to walk towards St. John for lunch. I'm filming. Nice. Ye old Mitra. <clears throat> cool. Okay, we just left Ye Old Mitra. <laughs> That's officially what I'm going I'm, with. I think it's Ye Old Mitra. Anyway, that was one of the coolest pubs that we've been to ever, I'd say. But to recap Ye Old Mitra a little bit, we walked down a valley, which you walk through like a tunnel, no signs, and you pop up into this like area where it is. The building was built in the 1500s, the pub was built in the 1700s. It has like all these little rooms and each have fireplaces and we got a pint. Oh, that was our first Guinness pint. It was ice cold, almost and to St. John's. See you there. We've come upon it. It's right there. I'm gonna try to do it. It's right here. Oh wow! You actually almost got it. Did I? There you're on, right on it. Okay, I don't think we have to say it anymore, but this is Anthony Bourdain's favorite restaurant ever. Fergus Henderson. Bone marrow. This is it. This is her bucket list. Okay. We are cool. <laughs>
literally bust open. I haven't been this full <laughs> since I <laughs> ate that entire um, poutine, poutine <laughs> at OP de Cruchon. We're still trying to rank this experience in our hierarchy, but it may rival Joe Beef, it may top it, I don't know. It's definitely high up there. So, a wonderful experience. The place is really cool inside. It's very low key. It almost feels more of it's like a very basic setup, um, which I think is the whole beauty of it. Her waitress was really, really awesome. You know, we told her we were fans and she was like into it. Well, yeah, and I also asked if uh, they sold the salt, and she said they didn't. But, Wait, and I was salt? like, oh, Wait, this, so the salt that you put on the bone marrow, they give you like this really wet, like chunky gray salt. But you get the bone marrow on the toast, you put the salt on top of that, and then you put the parsley that was like acidic with the onions in there. She, so they don't sell it, but she actually went back to the kitchen, gave us this bag, this bag right there. This is what the cheat actually gave us. Well, anyway, I don't want to open this all oh. Someone's never opened leftovers before this much <laughs> of the gray salt. And we just said, like, oh, we collect salt, no one travel, like, we sell it. She's like, no. And I thought, okay, we should bring you like a tiny little bit of it to take home. She gave me like a whole, like, what I would buy worth of it for free. <laughs> Everything in this place was untrusty, which was the best thing about it. And it just was awesome. One of the best meals for sure. And I'm really holding back because the whole Anthony Bourdain, oh, and Fergus was in there. Oh, yeah. We saw Fergus. Brian saw him down at the bar at first, so I went down to the bathroom to see him, and you could see him. And then he like came in and he have, he sat there and had lunch with like three of his friends, and he was just sitting there having lunch. Like, he's there. She's like, we just said he's there. I said, oh, is Fergus here? He was here every day, he gets here at nine, makes sure all the chefs are ready. Like, this is a real deal. It's not a celebrity restaurant. He really is here all the time. It's Anthony's favorite place, and I just kept thinking about it. Like, so this is a happy place and that's it. That's it. So that's it. On to the next one. Oh, ye old Cheshire cheese. Next stop after St. John. Well, we actually tried to stop at Old Bell Tavern, but it looked like a TGI Friday, so we skipped that one. And we're trying this out. We'll see what happens. And yep, these cars go the opposite way. We're good. We've arrived. Rebuilt in 1967. Damn. All the way down. Okay, here we go. Sam Smith's playing, sorry. Oh. Is that not the door? I have a feeling that that's the door right there. All right, we're all packed up, leaving London, and I just wanted to show you one thing that we haven't seen this entire time in London. Are you ready? It's actually pretty remarkable. The sun! Oh my god! There actually is sun in this city. <laughs> Our first ever view of Heathrow International Airport, terminal number five. Third busiest in the world. Third busiest in the world? All right. Where'd... <laughs> this is it, the end of the vacation. Well, one more lounge, though. Oh, yeah. One more lounge, for sure. Oh, Hold on. Right. we're going to get this all on video. Yeah. Slippery when dry. She's trying to climb this. I made it a foot and a half. She's such a mountain climber. Look at her. Woo! Like a billy goat. <laughs> yeah, I get a little slick up there. <laughs> <laughs> 